Quinn is an amazing young man. He really shows that just because you have a mobility issue, you can't stop living. So he, um, he goes out into the community, he does different things, he inspires other people. So Quinn has cerebral palsy. It was the result of a birth injury, so he's had it his whole life. And it's a pretty severe form in terms of it's really affected his motor skills. Cognitively, he's fine, he's verbal, all of that. But he has visual impairment and um, needs help with his daily living. For all of us, right, we take for granted that we can just get in any car, pretty much, and go off where we want to go. Quinn can't do that because of his wheelchair. And so there's like one kind of vehicle that can transport him, and that is an accessible vehicle. The van had a rear entry, so he just slides in, he locks down, puts on his seatbelt, and he's good to go. He needs that van to get to places like his art classes and his um, swimming lessons, and basically just to go out and into the world and do the normal things that everyone does every single day. I come out on Saturday to uh, go get something to eat, and the van is nowhere on the property. He came out to the carport where his car usually is, and it was totally gone. Someone had stolen it. Almost like a situation of, where's my car? Someone entered the house, took the keys, and drove off with the van. A lot of emotions were going through my mind. Not having a readily accessible car means you have to like plan your life out a lot more. It just felt weird and strange not being able to do that. Is these vehicles are so expensive, they're so hard to come by. And so, you know, it was just all those things that everyone does with the police, filing a claim with your insurance company. But on top of that, we had the heaviness of Quinn not knowing when he was going to be able to go out because there, we had no vehicles for him to use. We did everything we could. We went out on Facebook. Uh, people started GoFundMe pages and lemonade stands and anything to rally together as a community to get money. A lot of people had written on Facebook, like, you really should contact Helpful Honda. I, I thought, why don't we just reach out to the Helpful Honda people? We see the commercials all day, every day. Uh, maybe they could do something to help. And so I uh, sent the message over to them, and within 24 hours, they contacted us and said they wanted the help. There's a knock at the door. Helpful Honda in the blue shirt, the khaki pants. Hi. Hi, Hi. how are you? Oh, what? You know that when you have cognitive dissonance, you can't quite believe, like, is this really happening? Hi, Quinn. So just follow me real quick. We heard that your Honda Odyssey got stolen. So okay, Honda Dealers is replacing your stolen Odyssey with a brand new Odyssey. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. That's for you. That's amazing. Oh my god. This is fantastic. Quinn, are, are you speechless? Yeah. I know, I know. I can barely... That's like shock. <laughs> There's no other way to put it, man. Hop on inside on the front seat if you like. Oh, wow, it's nice. This is incredible. Okay, thank you. It's our job to be helpful. We're glad we can help. Bye. We were talking to the Helpful Honda people, organizing. We thought we'd bring them lunch to keep them here at the house so then the van can show up. And uh, while we were on our way to get lunch, uh, Sheila contacted me and said, you know, guess what happened? Got a call from the Claremont detective and said, we found your van in Ontario. And that would be something to celebrate in itself. But Honda went a step above and beyond and not only gave him a new van, but now we're able to pay it forward with another random act of kindness and give a van to someone who needs it that doesn't even have a van. So they contacted uh, another family, a local family that is in need, and uh, we were able to just work it all perfectly. And we wanted to know if it, we could donate it to another family in need. Absolutely. Okay. So that way we can help two families today. Yes. Absolutely. Oh my awesome. God, that is just like the best possible thing. I lost it because that's, I can't think of anything better than being able to help out another family to have a car. How cool is that? <laughs> Two families get to, you know, we get to benefit and then another family. That is like amazing. Amazing. You're welcome. It's our job to be healthy. It feels great as I know now that my life is like my normal again. Even to just be able to leave when you want to is the most liberating thing ever. Or Just confirm like, wow, Honda is a really good company. Not just their cars, but their heart. Hey, Honda! <laughs>